carry that into everyday life. And I wanted everybody to take on that mantra of figuring out whatever your sweet July is, that time in your life when you feel the most joyful and figure out what that something is that makes you feel like that during that time and find small, small ways, start small, but small ways to implement that little bit of happiness into your everyday life and just find gratitude. So that's what my sweet July is. I'd be interested in what yours is. Say hi to people. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You want to go see daddy? Okay. Give me a kiss. Okay, give me a kiss. No, 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 no. Oh, guys. Guys. This is. You want to go see daddy? Yeah. Okay, go see daddy. See daddy. Okay, go see daddy. Okay. So, to open our cans, because this is all about, you know, recipes that are appropriate for this time, and things that are easy to find. Canned goods are the wave right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open all my cans and then we're gonna get to the stove and get cooking. I'll reposition this camera and we'll be good to go. What did you say, facts? All right. I'm your hype man. You're my hype man? I love it. All right, so fresh tomatoes open. I'm gonna put this at the stove over here. We're gonna open our pintos and our kidney beans. Do you wanna, um, Yes. Do you know how to open cans? Yes. Okay. All right, you can open this open last can. can. I'm going to grab the turkey from the fridge, and then we'll get into it. Nice art workout. Drain that. Drain that. Drain that. <laughs> bum bum. Is anybody else playing Bitty Bitty Bum Bum right now on the playlist? OK, should you open this last um, can? I'm going to move all my things. Watch out, girls. Careful, careful, careful. Set this over here. Set my knife over here. I'm gonna What's read. up, girls? Position my camera. God bless you. You're fine. All right, let me unplug this. Oh, Daddy! Daddy, I'm going to get my skirt. Ryan, back up. She's going to get my skirt. I'm sure all the parents out there totally get it. All right, so here's our stove. This is, oh, you're back. Wow, wow, Ryan. Okay, I'm going to grab the turkey. Okay, mommy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. All right. So we are going to start by heating up our Dutch oven here. This just happens to be the Dutch oven from my line. Um, but <laughs> he doesn't know how to open the can. He doesn't know how to open the can. It's actually the best can opener. No, it's actually the best. It, it is actually the best can opener. It's so simple. It's a sweet July. And all you have to do is pop the top off. He doesn't know how to open a can. <laughs> all right, so we're going to let this heat up. We have our bell pepper, onion, garlic, my turkey, pound, pound of brown, right here. I've got my herbs and spices. Today we're using oregano. We are not using that. We're using oregano, chipotle chili powder, black pepper salt, and a little cumin, which I feel like is nice and special and fragrant and nutty and aromatic. It's gonna be delicious. Yes. What really is chili? I should have done more research, but I just wanna say chili is cooked down ground meat, or if you're vegan, could be mushrooms, beyond meat, um, lentils, whatever you have, and you're kind of quick stewing with tomatoes, with spices, it's comfort food. It's definitely comfort food. So I have my turkey here. He is so loud. He, do you know what that celebration was for? He got the can open. I'm wearing half of this can. Small victories. No, it does not go into my pan. Thank you. You can you can drain that liquid out, and we'll use it in a little bit. So I'm going to put my couple tablespoons of olive oil into my Dutch oven. I have my pound of ground here, and I, it, so the recipe calls for two tablespoons of kosher salt. I like to salt as you go along, so three finger pinches as you layer in the ingredients, and that'll amount to about two tablespoons once all is said and done. So I'm going to go ahead, let me grab some towels at the moment. Okay, mommy. Oh, get your feet off my counter. Thank you. Thank you. Down, down. All right. So I have my turkey here. I'm just gonna get it into our Dutch oven. And again, I'm gonna layer in a little bit of salt and pepper. 
Oh, that sizzle. I love to hear it. Love me a little sizzle. All right, so a three finger pinch, a little bit of black pepper. We're gonna mix that around. So we just wanna get this turkey browned a little bit. You don't want to overcook it. So that's the thing with chili, right? People tend to get the meat in and then they layer in all of the things. And by the time all is said and done, your ground meat is more gritty and chalky than meaty. And so we are just going to cook this down a little bit so that it gets nice and brown. Um, and then we're actually going to remove it and coat in all of those little bits of flavor the onions, the garlic, the bell pepper, beans, seasonings, then add our meat back in, then our liquid, and our magical maple syrup. That's gonna change the game. You do one thing, don't leave the maple syrup out. You can leave one of the beans out. You can leave, you can leave the meat out. Don't leave the maple syrup out. All right. Who wants to show me? Who wants to show me? Who wants to show me their meat? We're not doing that. Who wants to show me the progress on their ground turkey? Let's see. No, it's not. Okay, how's it going, everybody? You good? I want to see all the hearts and all the things. To know it's going good. You can also ask questions along the way, and I'd be happy to answer them. Yes. Can you do me a huge favor and go and keep your brother company and yes. then play? Okay. Okay. You can watch from, from right behind. You're Riley is a young budding writer. She she journals every single day. Um, her spelling already. She's seven, but your spelling and the way that you write is so beautiful already. She. She's a songwriter. She does it all. I do that one. <laughs> so for this um, issue, we have a column called Hey Mom. And this is going to be, we'll show them. This is going to be a column where Riley basically gets to ask me anything. So, you know, the magazine can only be so long, so big. Um, there were so many questions she asked me. Uh, and, of course, only a couple could make it into this column. We'll have to do a little podcast or a chat or something to talk about the rest of them but she did a phenomenal job interviewing me and writing and I'm so proud of you. Tell everyone um, you know why you wanted to have this column in the magazine. I don't know. You don't know? I, just, I don't know. What, what excites you about it? That I get to ask so many questions and that I get to have all the answers to them. No! And that all the answers are going to it's so great. Mm -hmm. All the answers are great, but thank you. I I bet in about 10 years you won't feel that way, but I appreciate it now. I love you. Okay, you guys go over there. I'm going to gather it's between husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever the situation is, we're going to we're going to dive into it um, every single issue. And I I think relationships are so dynamic it's and about different. Yes. It's about taking your relationship to a new level when you uh, have been at home for nine weeks. You got to look at this mean, nasty, no haircut mug for nine months, I mean, nine weeks and see if you still got the love, you know? That's that's the test right I here. think I think we still have the love. You like the scruff? I love okay. your scruff. I love the scruff. I'm talking about that. real deep things in Sweet July. <laughs> real deep. Um, so in goes the... <laughs> In goes the lime juice. I'm gonna add a little bit more because even though it just went in my face, it wasn't that. Um, and then our star of the show that pairs well with the chili again, our maple syrup. So just a splash mm. or a half a teaspoon. Mm. Can you give me a cup of ice, babe? Oh, so I can shake this bad boy. People from Davidson Summit call me. A... Hey! We actually have some very. Um, exciting things happening here at Sweet July with um, caffeine. But we'll get into that later. Um, some ice, please. A cup of ice. Yes, you're fine. Just don't touch anything. This is grown up stuff. Okay. So, guys, this is the cocktail. I feel like it's definitely five past five o'clock on the East Coast. It's almost five o'clock here. Totally appropriate. Um, I mean, 
this is the way. So I, I, I just, I guess I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you firsthand how truly easy these recipes are and how you can do them with chaos, in the midst of chaos and many things happening. I had to do it with nerves in front of all of you, but it's done and it's 4.39. Um, and I was able to talk and converse and still get the meal on the table. And that's the way that I cook. That's so whenever you go to a recipe of mine that's out in the, in the internet or in the cookbook, <laughs> um, just know it's gonna be easy and fast. Um, but still full of flavor and delicious because mm -hmm. that's the stage I am at in life right now. The kids are seven, four, and one. So we're in the thick of it. So Sorry. in goes a little ice. I put just enough ice to layer the cocktail so I don't have to add ice into the glass. That's the way I like it. It's frothy. Thank you, thank you, Shelly, Stefan's uh, fairy godmother, for this beautiful glass she got me to celebrate when my cooker was. Then a white so we're just going to shake it. If you don't have a shaker, it's fine. Um, use a spoon, whatever. Put two cups together, shake those. You got it. But if you do have a metal shaker at home, this one's from my line also. I think we'll do some swipe ups or something after this in case you like anything that you saw. But you want to wait until it gets sort of icy and frothy so you can do that. Um, and then we have a smoky maple margarita. Smoky maple margarita. Somebody really wanted their drink. Okay, I will wipe it. That's how you Bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. That is delicious. Mommy, you want the it? I want to see. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. So that looks perfect. Oh, yeah. So this can keep simmering if you want it to, but I just want to plate a little bit of it up just to show you. Um, so I have my bowl here, and I'm just going to take a little bit of my chili and plate it. Just, and we will close this out in a minute. So garnishes, you can do a little avocado, you can put a fresh lime on the side, any cheese you like. I have triple cheddar here, I'm just going to put some of this triple cheddar. Vegan cheese if you're vegan. No cheese if you're not feeling it. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top there. I have a little bit of fresh sour cream. Just like so. A little dollop. And then we have our gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous green onions. I love a good garnish. I like the way it rounds out the dish. Gives a little crisp bite to that chili since it's all cooked down. It just gives us something to crunch into, something fresh and herby. So I'm just cutting. So yes. Guys, that's it. There's our chili. That was so fast, the hour. 